The one I've been working on most recently is uh, a disease called, by the scientists, brachycephalic obstructive airway syndrome. Okay, what, can we have that in a simple Yeah, what that means. <laughs> <simple terms. laughs> okay. yeah. So, John, what that means is uh, the uh, difficulty that short faced dogs have with breathe, breathing. Mm. And I guess many of you will be familiar with the idea that you see a bulldog walking up the street and very often its tongue is lolling out of its open mouth just as it keeps up with its owners uh, walking along. In other words, it's having to pant, it's having to breathe through its mouth. Now that's a bit of a problem. It restricts the dog in terms of uh, its ability to exercise normally and actually it's a very big problem on hot days uh, when the dog is liable to uh, collapse because dogs do much of their cooling through panting through their mouths. If they can't do that efficiently, which these dogs can't, um, then uh, they start to overheat and that can kill the dog quite quickly. So this is a real uh, problem, not just for bulldogs, but for all of the short-faced breeds. And we've been, been starting to think about, is it possible to do something genetically to improve the dog? Now, the obvious thing to do would be to breed the dog with a long-nosed dog and uh, to get rid of the face shape, which The way is, the bulldog looked yes, 100 years ago. Yes, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, and perhaps going back a bit, a bit further than that and having a, a, an even longer face dog. But the problem with that is that the general public does not want a dog with a long face. So we've been looking at, are there dogs with shorter faces that breathe well, and can we find genetic differences between those and dogs with shorter faces that breathe badly? So that's the sort of work that I'm doing at the moment. And I, I did bring along some uh, cues and pictures mm -hmm. to show you, which I thought might be interesting yeah. in this. And so what I've got here is a set of, uh, of breath traces, and this top one, uh, shows the normal breathing of a beagle. You can just see the waves going up and down here. Uh, they breathe uh, in um, here and breathe out there on the down slope. So in as you go up the slope and out on the down slope. And what you can see is uh, two different French bulldogs. So French bulldogs are one of the breeds with a short face and they suffer from uh, this disease. And you can see that even for our, what we called grade zero to one uh, French Bulldogs, uh, these are the best French Bulldogs, and they have a slightly reduced trace with a few waves in it. But in actual fact, they can probably get by with that amount of breathing. Uh, but the ones that are seriously affected uh, have these very spiky traces, and uh, what we've developed now is a way to objectively look at whether the breathing is good or bad when the dog is at rest by looking at these respiratory traces. But look, just looking at these, is it fair to say these dogs are literally gasping for breath all the time? Uh, we, you can certainly hear them um, making snorting noises all the time. So those come in two forms and this actually, these traces um, are uh, snorting on the out breath. All oh, right. Um, yeah. So they're desperately expelling air so they yes, can suck a little bit more yeah, air. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's it. I've actually brought a a, a photo, or rather, uh, it's actually um, what's called a CT scan, uh, which shows what's going on inside uh, the these two dogs as they breathe. And uh, what you can see on the left is a dog that has great problems in breathing, and what you can see on the right is a, a, a French bulldog with a very similar shape of face, but uh, having uh, a much better uh, breathing channel, which is the dark um, tunnel, if you like, through the middle of, yeah, so of that picture. So airway is staying open pretty so much So that airway time. is staying yeah. open. And that, that shows us the sorts of difference we're looking for we can probably still breed, um, breed a short-faced dog uh, that can breathe better than, than at least the majority or about half of French Bulldogs breathe very badly. Um, so it is possible to maintain the, the face shape, but at the moment we don't have adequate ways of knowing when we go into a breeding 
whether we will produce good dogs or bad dogs out of it. And so that's where my work here with the genetics is tending.